What's going on YouTube? Jeans here bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with this Shinotic Sun team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys for all the support that has been going out on the channel. Rocking out on this team, we got Chlorophyll Venusaur to start us off. It rocks out in the sun, doubles its speed with Sleep Powder, Leaf Storm, Sludge Bomb, and Earth Power. It's also holding that extra belt to give it more damage with super effective moves. We got Nine Tails over here. To set the drought with heat wave energy ball for stab foul play and incinerate and it also has a choice scarf So it can outspeed most Pokemon and then the furthermore the drought team We got Charizard big old Charizard with that life orb and solar power So most Pokemon he can definitely one shot and he has his awesome move set of heat wave solar beam air slash and protect now the other three Pokemon on this team we start off with Raichu right here lightning rod Raichu with Volt switch electro web to slow down Pokemon Surf to actually pair well with the Gastron right next to it give it that special attack boost and roll off from there and fake out to get that turn one flinch it also has lightning rod as its ability and focus sash as its item we got storm chain Gastron over here with that Rindo berry so it can eat up a grass move with earth power acid armor to actually boost defense make this thing a big old bulky Gastron slug thing whatever you want to call it recover and protect and then in the final spot one of this the Pokemon that I'm most hyped to show up for the team is Shinnok because we don't really use Shinnok but it's actually a very strong Pokemon with strength set to lower uh, physical attack and get health back Giga Drain to do damage and get health back Spore to actually put Pokemon to sleep and protect it has rain dish so it can recover health in the rain and room service to actually lower its speed in trick room which uh, actually means it's boosting its speed in trick room so yeah but you guys want to use this team for yourself around the code is at the bottom of the screen and guys it is one day away from the isle of armor drop and let me know what are you guys most hyped for the new dlc like are you hyped for new pokemon a new legendary something about the gameplay or anything else let me know in the comment section down below but without further ado let's hop on to that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this shinotic sun team First battle coming at you guys, this guy has a G-Max Lapras team and a Trick Room team all in the same little bunch. He has Incineroar, Mimikyu to set the Trick Room, G-Max Lapras, Delmai's big old Trick Room Pokemon, Titar, and Togekiss. Okay, how should I go out with this? I definitely want to bring Gastron. I definitely want to bring Gastron somewhere along those lines. Um, do I go Charizard? Do I start off with the Heat? I could get rolling early on with the Heat, which wouldn't be bad because Intimidate wouldn't really affect us because we're both special attacking. I think this whole team's special attacking, I'm pretty sure. We're just a bulky special attacking team. I think that T-Tar is going to be a huge problem for us. I don't know how we're, go we're going to uh, kind of get off on that. Maybe a max overgrowth, but we got to get some like, damage boosting. We got to get boosting hard. Um, Who do I want to bring? I'm going to bring Gastron for sure, but I think I'm just going to start off with the Drought. I think Drought is a nice little play to go with. We'll go Nine Tails into Charizard. And then into hmm, Venusaur and... Gastron? Yeah, Venus or Gastron. Let's roll. We're going all sunned out right here, and we're going to get rolling strong. Um, who do I think is holding that weakest policy? Probably that Titar, to be honest with you. Probably that Titar. So if he does lead to Titar, I don't know if I'm going to die. Next. I think it's going to be going to be a tough call. And I think the Titar is just our big threat for this team. I think we could be fine if he doesn't bring it. So, let's see what happens. But guys, if you want to catch more content from me, head in the link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. We stream 4 plus days every single week. And like I said, the day after this video goes live, the Isle of Armor will be released. So, if you guys want to catch content over there, I'm going to be doing, like, catching Pokemon over there. Because I'm, I'm going to be doing a playthrough on this YouTube channel of the DLC. We're going to be doing the whole stream mode with it. But on my DLC, on my, not my DLC, on my Twitch page, we're going to be exploring the DLC in more depth. Catching all the Pokemon there is to offer. And doing some more ranked battles over there. So, Go hit that follow button and turn on those notifications. Okay, um, I think I just uh, go into a heat wave. I think heat wave is fine. Do I double heat wave? I think double heat wave could pick up the KO with the uh, with the Mimikyu. Double heat wave picks up the kill with the Mimikyu, so I am going to uh, go into double heat wave here and see what happens. Fake out from the Incineroar, and then he gets to trick him off, right? That's probably is what or that's probably what is going to happen. So heat wave comes out here. That did a decent amount of damage to Incineroar. You'd love to see it. You'd love to see it. That's solar power and life orb damage. But this guy's pops. And Mimikyu definitely getting that trick room off, right? Right. Am I right? Leave me alone. No trick room. Oh, my God, yo. We all hate trick room. That's a fact. That is a fact. All right, so one heat wave will be able to take out this, uh, that Mimikyu. And then uh, Air Slash, I think, can come through and do some work on the, onto the Incineroar. So let's go Air Slash and get rolling from there. So we do have Gastron in the back end. We do have Gastron in the back end, who might want to be our Dynamax Mon of choice here. I don't know. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. 
Because he had to bring the Lapras and the Delmas. Something along those lines. But I knew this this one was going to be a tough battle for our first one. Considering just a teaming brawl, kind of counters as hard. Vikram can kind of roll out here unless we had Shinotic, but it's totally fine. He goes parting shot now that he is slower. You hunk of junk! And who are you going to get in? Who is he going to get in here? Now do I withdraw Charizard? Who are you getting in here? But I think the mine, whoever he gets in here, is going to take some nice damage, which could be wonderful for us. But he is definitely saving that Incineroar for another fake out opportunity and an intimidate drop. So he's going to bring in Delmize. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. He's going to bring in Delmize. Phantom Force comes out from Mimi Mimi Poo. Which is totally fine. And I think we take out Delmize here. I think we do take out Delmize. Get a free KO here. Air Slash comes out. Yo. Do some nice damage with that. And see you later, Delmize. <laughs> Just like that. Delmize is gone. Um, I think he might bring back out the Incineroar for another fake out chance. Let's see what happens. Heat Wave doesn't connect because Mimikyu went for the Phantom Force, and Solar Power is going to start dropping our stat again. But right now, we can just waste out Trick Man. So Delmize is gone. That's huge. That is just a big G uh, or D-Max Pokemon, especially in Trick Room. But this has got to be the Pokemon that he's going to Dynamax. It's going to be the Slappers, which is totally fine. We got we got to go into a Heat Wave, and then I think we just Solar Beam, or do I protect? I mean, hmm. I'm just going to go into a, a Solar Beam, because I think uh, the Phantom Force is going to pop over on the Charizard. So, Protect is really going to just be a waste. But he does Dynamax right here. And I think he's going to drop the Ice on my Charizard. I don't think he's going to really change up the weather just yet. I just got to wait. I just got to wait it out for the perfect time. I can potentially waste a uh, G-Max turn with my Storm Gene Cash on. Get that in there at the right time. But I think he is going to drop the Roar Bell turn one. This thing might have the... the what's it called? So that could be scary. Oh, let's go Geyser turn one. Okay, that's fine. Let's go Geyser turn one. It's totally fine. Charizard's gonna go down here. Bye bye, Charizard. And that could actually help out our Venusaur. Because now he's not double speed. Maybe he's a little bit faster. And he might be my uh, Dynamax Mon. He might be my Mon that I want to Dynamax here. And then Mimikyu's gonna come in here with the Phantom Force. Does this KO? Does this pick up the KO? It might. It might. It's gonna be close. Nope. We eat up. Beautiful. Heat Wave's gonna come in here. It's gonna neglect some of that damage. I think Mimikyu eats now. Yeah, all day. Thank you, Mr. Rain. Rain just helps that out tremendously. And do I get a Venusaur now? Hmm. Hmm, yeah, we're gonna get a Venusaur. Because I think Mimikyu is going to drop again. And we might want to Dynamax the Max Guard. Do I Dynamax Max Guard? He's definitely going for the, uh, what's it called? I gotta keep going for Heat Waves. He's definitely going for the Phantom Force, and I think he's going for the, uh... Oh my god, I'm gonna put this thing to sleep. I'm gonna slump this thing. Actually, that thing's, go that thing's gonna be slower. As much as I want to put this thing to sleep, I can't. He's gonna, we gotta, we gotta Max Guard. I'm gonna Max Guard here. I am going to Max Guard the Venusaur because he's going to try to drop the re the Resonance and get off that uh, Aurora Veil. So, Venusaur, you are coming down here. There's no way you're going for a Geyser. I just think uh, Mimikyu takes out, what's it called? I think Mimikyu takes out Nine Tails, and I think Lapras is just going to go for a Resonance over on the, the Venusaur. But this one's going to be tough. This one's going to be tough. We just got to keep trying to waste out Trick Room turns. My lord, get out of my face. We do Guard. Let's get it. Get that blocking. And Resonance comes through, like I said, and we block that one up because he's trying to get that Aurora Veil up. Phantom Force comes out, and he vanishes. Do you see? Like, I called it. I called it. I knew exactly what was going to happen there. I knew exactly what's going to happen. Heat Wave comes off, and it's just going to hit the Lapras. Hopefully, we can get a burn on it. Maybe get a little bit lucky here. Show me the burn. Nope. No burn on that uh, the turtle thingy, the musical turtle. But they got one more turn left in Trick Room. Uh, hmm. Hmm. How do I want to roll? Well, we definitely got to go Heat Wave here. Because we're choosing that. Then I could start getting HP back. But I really don't want to trigger a weakness policy. We could go Ooze. I mean, we have Speed Advantage next round. So, I'm actually going to go. I'm going to go with this. I don't mind triggering a weakness policy right here. He's going to go first. He's going to drop the Resonance. We should be able to eat this up just fine. Let's see what happens here. Boop, 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 boop. Yep, we eat that one up just fine. Mimikyu has got to be going after the Nine Tails. And then we should be able to take a nice Speed Advantage here. And they got a War Bell. Roar Bell, so good. So good. Dun, 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 dun. Phantom Force. Boop. See you later, Nine Tails. Nine Tails goes down for the count. Um, hmm. How do I want to play this? The speed is definitely in, in our favor now. Uh, well, besides my Gastron. We got a nice little overgrowth here. Do some mean damage, especially to a bulky little Lapras. And we are going to get some HP back. But mm, this battle number one's not looking too good for us. It's not looking too good. Let's just, let's just play it out and see see where it goes. Let's see where it goes. Well, at least we did uh, waste out Trick Room. 
the real question is, uh, do I make the read? Do I make the read? Because if that thing protects, if this Lapras protects, I can make a hard read on it, take out the Mimikyu, and then just uh, roll out from there. Hmm. What do I want to do? As much as, as, much as I want to Acid Armor, I cannot. This thing can use his Ice Move. I can just go EP. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna go EP into that, and I'm going to, uh... I think I ooze over onto the Mimikyu. Get the special attack boost. Special attack boost! Come on, baby! Hopefully we can take out Mimikyu with this, and then, uh... Special attack boost could help out the... The Gastron. Even though, I, is Earth Power physical? Earth Power might be physical. But so we getting after it. We getting after it. I just want that uh, special attack boost more so for the Venusaur. But I really do think the Lapras is going to protect, and it does. It does. Beautiful. Beautiful. Lapras does protect here. Hopefully we can pick up this KO on the Mimi Mims. Come here, boy. Come here. Come on, take him out. Bro, I always think Maxim is going to do way more than it, than it than it actually does. Like, I don't know why. I don't know why. It's always that poo-poo damage, but it's just for the, uh, what's it called? We, we already know that what Max uses for. It's just for the, uh, the special attack boost. But we do get the, the attack boost here. And do I guard? I could guard now. And have Earth Power do some work. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. Like I said, it's gonna be close. Yeah, but I always forget. I always forget how much damage uh, Max Hughes is really going to do. But it's more so just for the boost. Hmm. Now, Earth Power is special attacking. I think we can go after the Lapras. I have to double into the Lapras, right? Or I could put it to sleep. I can't, I can't even protect or anything. I don't really want to go for a Leaf Storm. Hmm. Wait, double into that thing? Nah. Hmm. I got to. I have to. Because Mimikyu is going to be slower than everybody. So we have to double into this, uh, this slot right here. Okay, he's going to swap out. That's totally good by me. And the Incineroar is going to pop in. That could be big, because, uh, I think we're going to pick up the KO here. Intimidate pops out here. It doesn't really affect us at all. This one going to be close, close. It's going to be close, close. But the thing that's annoying me is Mimikyu keeps sliding down. Mimikyu just keeps on sliding down. Mimikyu does go first. Takes out Venusaur. E, and Gastron should be able to pick up the KO easily and say night night to this thing. But Mimikyu is just gonna keep going down and dropping Phantom Forces. Earth Power comes out. Yay! Do I Acid Armor this turn? Do I Acid Armor this turn and get the defensive boost? Hmm. He can't go for a Water Move, and I, and I think it's down to Mimikyu and Lapras, right? No, he might have one more in the back. He might have one more in the back. So let's just see. No, we took out Delmize easily. We slapped on Delmize early. So it's it's a 2v1 situation, which I think Gastron could pull this one off. Yo, what's, what's Acid Armor? It just sharply raises his defensive stat. I think we eat up a uh, special attacking very well. So I'm going to go Acid Armor here. Because I think Mimikyu's dropping again, right? Mimikyu's got to be dropping again. He's been doing it all game. Yeah, Mimikyu drops. We're going to get this Acid Armor off. And we're going to play the long game. We are going to play the long game here. Come on, baby, give me that. Yo, <laughs> yeah, look at that animation. He just like slithers down. <laughs> Defense raises sharply. Oh my god, this thing has free strive. Of course. Nope, we lost this one. Wrap it up. <laughs> I thought maybe he had like Ice Beam or something, but of course, he has free strive and GG. Man, I could have just potentially took out that Lapras and then went from there. But yo, GG, we got 0 1 in that first battle. Let's hop into battle number two and try to get a win with this team. Match number two coming at you guys, going up against another G Max Lapras team. What is it? What are we seeing? More G Max Laprases again? Like, come on. Come on. I'm sick of these things. I'm sick of these things. But he also has Whimscott for Tailwind, Incineroar, Draco Fish, Labiro, Cinderace, and Conqueror. Okay. How should I roll out here? I'm definitely bringing uh, Gastrodon for Storm Drain for the uh, Draco Fish and the Lapras. Um, do I go Sun? Do I go Sun right off the rip? I could go for the Sun. I could go for the sun, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could, yeah, let's go uh, Nine Tails Venusaur. Let's go Nine Tails Venusaur. We're taking speed early. Bring Gastrodon and then Shinotic? I could go Shinotic. Nah, I don't, I don't really want to go Shinotic here. I'm going to go Charizard. Charizard just works out so well. Hmm. Where do I want to go? Uh, Raichu. Raichu has Surf. Hmm. That's just that's more so for the uh, Gastrodon. No, I think we're fine with what we have here. Shinotic's more so for a uh, Trick Room. We're just uh, throwing Pokemon to sleep. Shinotic actually works out in a, in a good bit situation, but Venusaur is the better Pokemon here. 
as it just can thrive in the the heat, and we can take speed advantage with the heat as well. I think Shinnok's more for the trick room side of the, the game. But let's see what happens here. He's going to go into Whimsicott and Lapras, which is not totally fine. I can just go for a Heat Wave into a... Uh, do I go Leaf Storm or do I Dynamax? Like, as much as I want to go into a Dynamax, at the same time, I do not want to. Do we think he's going to change up the weather? He might change up the weather. Do I, do I swap into Gastrodon and predict the weather change? I'm definitely going to go into a Heat Wave here. And now, you know what? I'm going to just put this thing to sleep. How are you going to do that? Like, yeah, we're, we're just going to go put this thing to sleep. We're just going to say, yo, night night, little boy. You're going to Dynamax. He's going to G-Max. So we can put this thing to sleep and take a huge chunk out of his Dynamax turn and start taking control of this game. Because if that is the case, I might, uh... Hmm, what, what would I want to do here? Put the sleep. Probably send a Leaf Storm then swap. I could do that. Leaf Storm's base 130. Like, oh my lord, this thing's a beast. And then we get this uh, Expert Belt damage with it as well. Like, come on, baby. What you want? Tailwind comes out. No way that this thing outspeeds me. My Venusaur. Maybe, maybe I don't think it's going to outspeed any of them. And bruh, yo, are you serious? Are you serious? We miss a sleep powder? Get out of my face, yo. Get out of my face. We miss our sleep powder? Come on, everybody else is always landing them. D-Max Resonance comes through, and we can say potentially mine a Venusaur. Like, this game is trash, dude. This game's trash. <laughs> like, what do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> This game is legit trash right now. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. Let's get out Charizard here. Uh, I think I just swap. Do I just swap and uh, go Storm Drain Gastrodon? With the Charizard? Or I could Dynamax Charizard. And go into an Overgrowth. And swap Ninetales. Yeah, let's swap Ninetales. Ninetales, get out of here. We're going to Gastrodon. And then I'm going to... I want to heat wave so bad. How do I want to play this one? You know, let's go, uh, let's swap Charizard. Let's go heat wave here. Take out the Whimsicott, do a little bit of damage to the Lapras, and then swap the Charizard for the Gastrodon. Bro, are you kidding me? We didn't get that sleep. We might be going down 0 2 early on. He's going to withdraw Whimsicott. Okay, that's cool. I'm cool with it. He's going to go Draco Fish. Oh, we. Ooh, we. I think he's going to try to set the lane here. Come back, Charizard. Come back, little boy. Yeah, he's got to be setting the rain, trying to set up for next play. Let's see what happens here. Heat Wave comes in. Draco Fish avoids it. Like, what is going on? This game, I'm telling you, it's trash. <laughs> and Geyser comes out. We make that nice read. Let's go. Storm Drain's popping. No rain for you. You can't go for a Fisher's Vent either. They're going to have to go for strong jaw moves. And we're just wasting these turns. Let's go Heat Wave again because we are uh, scarfed in that. And then do I go Acid Armor? Hmm. Who else does he have? Who else does he have? Whimsicott. Um, what other Pokemon does he have on his team? It's got to be another physical attack. I'm going to go Acid Armor here. I am going to go Acid Armor. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah, you can't do anything. We bulking up with Gastron. If I bulk up with Gastron, I might have to Dynamax it and just run it. Because Gastron's the best. Especially Pinky Gastron. We never use Pinky Gastron. Always using the blue one. Punch comes out here. Uh, we, that was that was tough beats. That was tough beats. That did some mean damage here, but Acid Armor's gonna come through. Hopefully, he doesn't go after my Dre or my Gastrodon. <laughs> Leave me alone! We do eat, but nothing's really gonna happen here. Acid Armor comes out and get the defensive boost. But I need health. I need health, and that is our problem right here. Man! I thought they were totally gonna go after my, uh, Oh, what's it called? My nine tails. I'm just gonna protect here. I'm just gonna protect. Just keep doing work. We're just gonna keep doing work over here. Try to get some burns, all that good stuff. Protect comes out here. And Crunch gonna come out here. Block. Get blocked, little boy. Heat wave comes out. And dude, what is this game? What is this game? Somebody please tell me what this game is. Because I really don't know what it is. And he goes for Hydro Pump. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Then when Peter's out, okay, that's lovely. Heat wave comes out as well. Um, I guess I go for a recover. If I can get it off, that could be huge. But hopefully he misses a crunch because I've been missing heat wave out the bunch, yo. I missed two heat waves in a sleep powder this game. Like, come on, this game trash. All right, let's see what happens here. 
Mr. Crunch, baby. Mr. Crunch. Let me get off this recover. What are you going to do, sir? Make a move! <laughs> I think he's choice banned into a crunch, and Charizard could actually rock out very, very well. <laughs> we could potentially just, like, sweep with the Charizard. He has no Dynamax. He has a Roar Bell, which is scary. Yo, this dude's scared. He's scared. He's scared of Slug. Of the Slug. He does withdraw the Draco Fish. Whimsicott comes through. You gonna let me get a recover off? Please tell me you let me get a recover off. Whimsicott goes down here. Lapras takes some nice damage. Does Lapras outspeed? I don't know if Lapras outspeeds. I mean, Tailwind's out, so I think Gashon might. Oh my god. What are you trying to do there? I think he maybe just helped us win this game. Gastron gets a boost. I'm going to Dynamax Gastron. I might Dynamax Gastron here. We get a recover off. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Our sunlight does fade. Do I go for another recover? Or do I Dynamax right here? Bro. Bro, what, what was this guy's plan? He knows I have Storm Drain. Okay. I think I Dynamax here. I either Dynamax or Recover. This thing is Liberia. That's scary. That's a scary little thing right there. But I am... I do have a nice big bulky uh, defensive boost. Plus two on the defensive side. Um, I think I go for another Recover here. Let's go for Heat Wave. We take out Lapras easily. And then we just Recover up. And then I Dynamax. And then I Dynamax. If not, we can just Dynamax the Charizard. Heat Wave comes through. Yoy! Lapras is gone. Lapras goes out. Cinderace eats that up just fine. And I wonder what he's going for. Plus two on the defensive side. Come on, guys. Sean. You should be able to eat. High jump kick misses. Hopefully. Hopefully it misses. <laughs> oh, no. He's going after uh, Ninetales. That's totally fine by me. All right. All right. That should be game. That should be game. Dynamax is a uh, bulky guy, on, And we get rolling out. Ooh-wee. He cannot go for Fishish Rens. He only has Crunch. And this uh, Cinderace is left. The big health. Oh, my God. How did we pull this one out? How did we pull this one out, guys? I don't even know. How did your boy pull this one out? That's nutty. That is nutty. So, Gastron full health, plus two on special attack, plus two on defense, and he has two physical attackers. Like, GG, baby. G to the G. I'm just hoping this Ascendary uh, doesn't change the flying type. I only have Max Quake. So, we'll see. We'll see in a second. Great go. Fish comes out. Because this thing could potentially have bounce. And so, I'm thinking I just go into a... Uh, what do I Dynamax Charizard? What is the call here? Nah, we're just gonna go into an Air Slash over on you, and then I'm going to Dynamax and go for a Max Quake over on the Draco Fish. Like, I'm th I was thinking about Dynamax and the Charizard, because if this thing changes the flying type and just stays that, I can't do anything up against it. I mean, I would just stall out the rest of the game. But I really do think the Cinderace might bounce here. We will see, we will see. And Draco, there's no way Draco Fish takes out my, uh, my Charizard a one shot. Let's see what this thing has. Let's see what what is this thing gonna do? What you gonna do, buddy? I'm hoping this thing doesn't have bounce. That's just scary. That is just will just be scary if he bounces out. But I think we can totally stall out this game and win it if he just goes like that. Here we go. Let's get this special defense boost, even though it does nothing. Bounce comes out. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Here we go. Now it's getting crazy. Now it is getting crazy. He bounces up. He's got to be thinking I have water moves. But I cannot really let him know that I am just only have that, you know? Dracovish goes with Psychic Fangs. We should be able to eat that, right? Yeah. Okay, we eat that just fine. And we know that we outspeed everything except for the Cinderace. But this is KO. This should be able to KO, right? Ooh, close. Okay, so I'm going to take out the Dracovish with an Air Slash. Unless he goes after my Charizard. So right now, my Gastrodon cannot go after the Cinderace. I'm definitely air slashing. Or do I just protect? In case, he, in case he's going after Charizard, dude. I'm going to protect, and I'm going to uh, quake over onto uh, Jacob Fish. Yeah, I'm play this one very slow. I'll play it slow. Where's the bounce going after? The bounce got to be going for the char, right? Bounce comes out. Blocking? Yeah, yo, we blocking. Get out of my face. Psychic Fangs come out against Gastron. We eat up just fine. That's an easy eat up. And then Max Quake comes out here. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> this one is so tough. This is so tough. This game might just go long haul. 
which I think I can win it if we just go along, but let's see what happens. The war barrel is war worn off. This can go for another bounce. I'm definitely going into an air slash into a quake. Well, I have to go for a quake. Go air slash into quake. If this thing bounces, that's all we can really do. This is why I kind of want the Dynamax to Charizard. High jump kick comes through. That's fine. We should we should have the game from here then. What happens here? Oh, it goes after him. He goes after Gastrodon. Okay, that's GG then. GG, baby. Let's get it. Match number two in the bag. We got one and one with this team so far. And now we're going to hop into battle number three and try to get a winning record with this Shinotic Sun team. We're going to try to actually show up Shinotic in the next battle. So let's get it, guys. One and one. Pick up that big fat win for this video. One and one with this team hopping into battle number three, our final battle, trying to get a winning record. This guy has Durant, yo. You guys already know Kevin Durant over here is an absolute beast. He's a very, very fast team, so I wish we had a mod on this team to actually run Trick Room, but we do not. We do not. I think I'm going to go Nine Tails into... Hmm. Who do I really want to go here? It's like Durant is going to be such a struggle. I think we go Nine Tails. We can Heat Wave. Heat Wave is going to be able to do some work all around. So Nine Tails, get us started. I think we go Nine Tails, Venusaur. Uh, do we bring Raichu in the back? I could go here and bring Raichu number two. I can pick out and take out Whimsicott to kind of lower speed. Go. Do I bring Shinotic? I kind of want to bring Shinotic here. Let's go Shinotic. Get Shinotic rolling. And he doesn't really have too much water, so. Do I go Venusaur or Charizard? Bean Bean or Charizard? Who do I really want to go here? Hmm. I want to go Charizard. I want to go Charizard. Even though we get the speed with the Venusaur in the drought, I'm going to go Charizard and finish up the certain final battle. Let's get it, peeps. Let's get it. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> jeans, jeans, jeans. Let's get it. Let's get it. Don't forget, guys, like I said in the beginning of the video, let me know. I guess it's for like a question of the day. What are you guys most hyped for for the new DLC to come out? Are you guys most hyped for a certain Pokemon, any of the new Pokemon, any new legendaries, something about the story mode, or just being able to get back into the world of Pokemon outside of just ranked battles? I think they're all hype. I think they're all hype, but we definitely got to fake out this Whimsicott and then roll into a uh, nice little heat wave. That should get it. Oh, it do blade kill. Nice big double kill. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let's go heat wave. Boop. And then right here into a nice little fake out over on Whimsy Wind. Whimsy Poo Poo. I don't think they know that I'm Choice Scarf, which could be huge. He might think that the Darmanitan might outspeed me, unless he's Choice Scarf as well, which I wouldn't be surprised because Darmanitans are. We scarf usually. A big old fake out comes out here. Come on, Nine Tails. Go up and just pick up the double kill right off the rip. Nine Tails, I love you. I love you. Watch this, guys. Watch that. Easy. Go on. Get him out of here. Get out of here, kids. Let's get it, baby. <laughs> what a start. Big old start for Jeans there. Yo, this dude didn't even swap. He didn't even flinch. And Nine Tails comes in and just says, psh, 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 psh. slaps them both up. Get out of here. Get out of my face. Let's go. Polsky comes out here. He's definitely going to Dynamax Polsky. I think I got an Electric Web up here. And Durant comes out here. Actually, he might Dynamax to Durant. But definitely Electro Web to slow these folks down. And then we go into E Wave. E Web, baby. E Web. Get that slow down. And then I do have Chaws on. Who's he Dynamaxing? I th I'm thinking it's Durant. It's got to be Durant. It's Hustle Durant. And I think this, this uh, Dragon Pole might just be. No, it's got to be an attacking Dragon Ball. I was going to say, maybe it's just a T-Wave Alice, which kind of thing. But yeah, he does Dynamax Kevin over here. What's good, Kevin? What's good, little boy? You don't want it. You don't want it. Let's see what happens. T-Wave goes first. Yo, this Choice Scarf is just eating up. And we miss against Dragon Ball, but it's all good. We take out the rant here. Oh my god, Nine Tails, relax. Nine Tails, relax out here. This is GG, baby. It's GG. Choice Scarf, Nine Tails coming in clutch. And winning us this game. The game's over. This match is over. Shadow Ball. It's my Nine Tails. Nine Tails actually should be able to eat that up. Let's see what happens here. Yeah. Yo, we eat that, baby. Too easy. Electro Web comes out. We, we slow that thing down. This guy's just gonna cancel out the battle, yo. Bruh, too easy. Too easy. Match number three. Quick sweep. Quick sweep. And we get a winning record. Yo, let's get it. Heat Wave gonna come out here. We're choosing here. So we gotta go into that. And then I just go for that Volt Switch. I just go for that Volt Switch. So Heat Wave should be able to do a decent amount of damage. I think he just cancels the battle. He does just cancel the battle, and let's get it. 2-1 with this team. Absolutely dominated that last battle. Amazing Sun team right here. I did not get to show up the Shinotic, though, but still, Shinotic is a very cool Pokemon. I tried in that last battle, but, yo, 
Nine Tails just absolutely dominated and went off there. Shinnok didn't even have a chance, but this Sun Team is amazing. You guys already know Charizard rocks out on Sun Team, and ever since Venusaur has been put in the game, Sun Team's just had that big boost and are better and better. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everyone.